Richard, uh, what do you say after four years, or five years, or two years, or however long Raquel Fries has been here? Um, <laughs> how do you punctuate this part of your life? You know, as the oranges fade to reds, fade to deep blues on the sunset of your college career, how do you feel? And I, as I thought about that more, I, the word that came to mind for me was thankful. I think I'm just thankful. I'm thankful for all of you. Uh, thankful that God has blessed each one of us in such unique ways. I can't run the football like Austin DeNoyer or throw the frisbee like Nate Kapenke. I can't speak Spanish like Caleb Paul or make homecoming happen like Sadie Kyle. Uh, the world doesn't need a million Jacob Donald bitters. One's probably too many. Um, <laughs> But I'm thankful to have each one of you. You're all very inspiring in your own special way. I'm thankful for all the lunch table giggles, and the late night trips to Quick Trip, the perspective shifting insights and paper deadline commiseration, the beauty of a job well done and the regrets of what could have been. I'm thankful to have been here for your ups and your downs, the joys and pains of growing as Christians and Christian leaders, and my have we grown. I'm thankful for the unique perspective you all lend to life. Our lives are irrevocably shaped by one another, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm tremendously grateful for the wonderful teachers God has given to our college as well. Gospel is the beating heart of this school, and that is demonstrated every day by our teachers. We are surrounded by Christian role models, men and women who model faithful service day in and day out. We seek to be what you are to us. Personable, caring, passionate, driven, knowledgeable, uplifting leaders whose little lights of faith shine like beacons showing us Christ in all you do. We will miss sitting at your feet. I thank God for the blessing that is you. May you continue to inspire others as you have us. We're almost there. You can feel the nervousness bouncing off the walls of the dorm as the months turned into weeks and the weeks turned into days till we're all graduated. There's a lot of uncertainty in the air, a lot of doubt and a lot of worry. So it is naturally around this time of the year when I'm reminded of the call of Isaiah. What inspires his Hineni, his bold, here I am, send me? Well, that's the thing I'm most thankful for. I'm a sinful human being standing among the sea of sinful human beings. But in every inadequacy, fear, shortcoming and failure, they have been washed clean in the blood of the Lamb. I stand before my holy God, not as a man of unclean lips, but with my guilt taken away and my sins atoned for. I am thankful for my Savior, Jesus Christ, in whose name I do all things. I don't know what the future holds for everyone in this room, but I'm excited to see where you end up whether it is a congregation or a classroom, a pulpit or a pew. The Lord, the Lord has great plans in store for you. May the Lord let his light shine through you wherever you go. I'm truly blessed for having known you. Thank you.